This is FCOA Lesson 1B, the introduction to freediving. Now that you know how to practice the survival float, we can start the introduction to breath hold diving. Okay, I'm going to take you by surprise. On the count of three, take your deepest breath and hold it as long as possible. One, two, three. <gasps> hold! I know that's unfair, you had no time to prepare, but just keep holding. That's already 10 seconds. Many first timers can hold till about there, and that's a good effort. It's 20 seconds. Eventually, your body will accumulate so much carbon dioxide that you will feel the urge to breathe. You can ignore it and press past that urge. 30. You might also feel your diaphragm contract. It's a muscle that you use to inhale, and you can learn to control it. 40 seconds. Let's look at those that are still holding their breath to see their diaphragm action. 50. If you're still holding your breath, then pause the video and keep track of your own timing. Once you're done, write down your surprise breath hold time for future reference. This is the time you got if you're on a boat that suddenly capsizes, or if you're surfing and get caught by a wave that tumbles you around underwater. If you want to hold your breath longer, there are two things you can do. First of all, you can start your breath hold with fresh air in your lungs. Follow my breathing. Take a deep breath and blow out all that old air from the depth of your lungs. Especially blow out that last part that you normally don't get to refresh. And once more. We call this the breeze up. If you would now start a breath hold, you would probably get an extra 10 or 20 seconds. The other thing we can do is lowering the amount of oxygen we are using by calming down our body and reducing our heart rate. You've got billions of cells in your body. They all need oxygen. If you relax, they all need less oxygen. We will measure our heart rate now and after two minutes of relaxation. You can feel your heart rate on the outside of your wrist by gently pressing two fingers on the radial artery. The pulse can also be found on the inside of the wrist, on the ulnar artery, or directly on the chest, or on the neck, on the carotid artery. Take your time to find the pulse, pause the video until you've got it. Once you can feel your pulse, we will count how many beats you have per minute. Actually, we will just count for 15 seconds to save some time, and then we will multiply it by 4. When I say start, start counting. One, two, three, start counting. Stop. Now that number Multiply it by 4 to get your heart rate per minute, or BPM, beats per minute. For example, if you count at 25 beats, 25 times 4 is 100 beats per minute. Your breath hold time is directly related to your heart rate. The slower your heart, the longer you can hold your breath. Heart rates at rest can vary enormously. They can range from 100 to 40 beats per minute. What is interesting is the heart rate you have in the morning when you wake up. That is probably the lowest heart rate you will have during a day. And that is a heart rate you want to have before you start your breath hold dive. You want to become so chill and so relaxed that it feels like you just woke up in the morning. Let's start our relaxation. We are going to relax for two minutes. Let's lay down so it will be very easy for the heart to pump the blood around. 
since it doesn't have to get pumped upwards. While you're laying down, scan your body, from your toes to your head. Your knees can be straight. Your feet can fall to the side. Your arms can be next to your body. Straight arms and straight arteries have less friction than bended arteries. Relax the muscles in your back and in your neck. And then you can close your eyes, because visual processing is also cellular activity that burns oxygen. If you close your eyes, you can hold your breath longer. And then you can empty your mind, dream away or meditate. After two minutes, I will ask you again to find your heart rate. After that we will do the breathe up, and then we will do another breath hold. But for now, I'll be quiet, and I will let you rest for two minutes. Okay, stay chill, but very slowly find your heart rate without getting up. Grab your wrist, find your artery and find your pulse. If you cannot find it, don't worry about it. But if you have found it, you can start counting now. Stop. Just remember that number for now and get back into relaxation. Get back into that sleepy mode and even during the beginning of your breath hold, it's perfectly fine to slightly fall asleep. Follow my breathing for the breeze up. And another one. On the count of three, take your deepest breath and hold it for as long as possible. One, two, three. <sighs> hold. That's already 30 seconds. In meditation they say you should observe without acting. 
If a fly lands on your nose, let it be. That's 40. If a jellyfish stings you while underwater, again observe before you act. Conserve that precious oxygen. 50. The urge to breathe comes mainly from the carbon dioxide you accumulate and not so much from the reduction of oxygen. One minute. Carbon dioxide tolerance is something that can get trained in various ways. 1 minute 10. If you feel your diaphragm move, then try to take control of it. Stop it and reduce this unnecessary oxygen burn. 1 minute 20. If you're done, then sit up and watch those that are still holding. Observe what they are going through. 1 minute 30. Resist the urge to move. Hold without fighting, without struggling. 1 minute 40. Push for it. Above water it's perfectly safe to push for a record. You're not doing anything unhealthy to your body. 1 minute 50. Condition your body. Extend your comfort zone. Every day a little further. That's 2 minutes. Humans have an amazing ability to adapt. If you're still holding, then pause the video while you time yourself. Well done. This we call the dry breath hold. It's actually easier to hold your breath when you're wet. You can Google about the mammalian dive reflex. Once your face gets wet, your body gets ready to dive and you will actually be able to hold your breath longer. For humans, this gives a 10% bonus, provided you can relax as good in the water as in your bed. Let's write down our dry breath hold time and the heart rate we found after relaxation. If now you counted 20 beats, then it's 20 times 4 is 80 BPM. Your next lesson, FCOA 1C, covers equipment use, equalization, how to be a safety buddy, the blackout response and the duck dive.